So what is going on with the honey badger? Well, the honey badger is a AR pistol that is made by Q. And no, that is not James Bond's armorer, nor is it the uh, godlike being from Star Trek. And no, it is also not QAnon. Uh, don't make me talk about QAnon. I don't. I don't want to go there, man. That's like a. It's like a big ball of crazy. No, Q is just a company, and they make an AR pistol called the Honey Badger. A name chosen because of the Honey Badger video that was going around. You know, well, they had made this, and what the recent news about the Honey Badger. AR pistol is that the ATF has decided that it is in fact a short barrel rifle. Um, potentially right now if you own a honey badger, you're illegal. The whole concept of an AR pistol and what's going on with that. Well, people wanted to be able to have ARs with shorter barrels, but if they made the barrels too short, they would be NFA items and have to be registered um, the same as uh, suppressors and full auto firearms and what all and somebody got the idea like well if we call it a pistol then it's not a rifle well that's fine except that you can't put a stock on a pistol because a pistol is designed to be held by one hand that is one of the NFA definitions of a pistol and this is where someone got the idea of the stabilizing brace that if it is a brace that's designed to just stabilize up against your arm instead of an actual stock, then it's not a stock. And if it's not a stock, then it's not a rifle. So it's a pistol. And the ATF had decided prior to this that, okay, yeah, those are legal as long as it's got that, that stabilizing brace on there because it's not a stock. It's not designed to be shouldered. Now, can you shoulder an AR pistol with that stabilizing brace? Well, sure you physically can. Um, is that legal and is that what the ATF was imagining here? I've, mm, they've decided it in this case with the honey badger that um, that's actually a stock. Now that could be for a few different reasons. Um, most of the um, stabilizing braces that you see for ARs um, through SP Tactical, who designed those, they have a number of them that they have made, and they've got letters from the ATF saying that they're not stocks. They are stabilizing braces. This one is a um, special model that they make for Q for the Honey Badger. It's not one that's um, just normally out there, so that's the first thing and the second thing is that on their website q actually refers to the honey badger as having a stock and that's probably the big issue because once they called it a stock um, they got it where the atf could decide it was a stock um, and it looked like it was probably just somebody copying and pasting from one model to another and not correcting it but that ended up happening. And what the big thing that this comes down to is that the ATF decision that the stabilizing brace is not a stock is just an ATF decision. This is not something that is written in law anywhere that you can really go to. And so it's always been a little precarious in that um, the ATF could potentially change their mind on it and there wouldn't be a whole lot that anybody could do about it and that's kind of what has happened here at least with the honey badger and now q has to send in two other models that they make for the atf to look over and they're going to decide if those are um short barrel rifles or not and are they going to stop with just q's stuff at this point but are they going to move on to other firearms, other AR pistols that have stabilizing braces on them? Well, there's a lot of thought that they might, and it scares a lot of people because there's something like 4 million of them out there. I'm um, not sure where the numbers come from, but that's the number I've seen uh, the gun collective throw around. So a lot of people are scared that this is going to end up uh, being... Uh, 
just kind of a prelude to um, declaring the stabilizing braces uh, to all be stocks, um, something similar to how they declared that bump stocks were in fact uh, full auto firearms. So the things that you could do about that, there's three things I think you could do. Number one, you can write to your congressman about that. The second thing is you can write to the White House about it. And on this one, I know that Trump has been kind of not really 2A. I don't think he's like really for gun control and not really for gun rights. I think he's just going to go whichever way he thinks his base is wanting him to go. And if his base is really, really vocal about we want to keep our stabilizing braces and it's loud enough, I think that he could be swayed to go to that because I don't think that that's a big burning um, issue to him. I think that he'll just go wherever on that. And the third one that you can do, and this one's going to sound a little weird, um, especially with things that I've said about them in the past, um, and that is you could write to the NRA about it. And you're like, okay, the NRA has been stupid. Well, why should we even do that? And like, okay, yeah, I get you. They don't have their crap in order. They've been problematic. But we'll put it this way here. The NRA is like, still has clout. Okay, we saw that they got a meeting with President Trump and were able to talk to him about stuff and he took some of their advice. And a bunch of letters coming from gun owners could be good. But I think one letter from the NRA about this to the White House or one representative from the NRA talking to the White House could make a lot of difference here. And so if we could get them on board with it and you know they'll occasionally get on board with the right thing, okay? I, I know we've got problems with them, but let's see, let's see if we can get them to do the right thing here because it would be awesome if they would. That would be a lot of help. And I know a lot of you are just gonna yell like, shall not be infringed and every gun law is an infringement. And yeah, I agree with you, but go ahead and see where that gets you yelling that and not doing anything else. You're gonna have to do something else. You shouldn't have to, but you're gonna have to. So anyway, that's what's going on with that, just so you know about it. And keep hanging around on the channel where I can give you more information about other things later on. If you found this video useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and a like. You can go down into the comment section and leave any thoughts you have down there. And if you're interested, you can also subscribe to my channel and click the little bell notification to make sure that you catch all the videos that I post so you don't miss anything. I'm Jeremy with Poindexter G, and we'll see you next time.